So uh, something like a bonus for you guys, if you are like a junior and you don't understand why I'm using here uh, atomic integer instead of a for loop that I could just increment the value, okay? I'm using uh, atomic integer because we are running our Spring Batch application multi-thread way. Uh, so atomic integer is very nice to be used in a concurrent application. As we can see, it's from Java uh, util uh, concurrent. So if you read here the documentation, you can see that uh, atomic inter integer is not a replacement for an integer, but uh, this class is very nice to be used in a multi-thread or concurrent application. So that's why I just use it here. Like uh, I just created the I and I start implementing and something like that. Okay, just a bonus for you, you guys. Hope you uh, understand. Maybe uh, just to add here uh, a little bit more, like for example, if we don't know how many uh, lines we want to, to skip, if we could just use here, for example, uh, integer uh, that uh, max value. For example, we want to skip all of them. We don't want to, to, to throw uh, an exception once the skip limit is uh, like uh, reached. Uh, it's very nice idea, but let's suppose that we want to audit the line that was skipped. For example, write the, the line into a file or maybe for each line okay, that uh, were skipped, we want to, for example, uh, send an email. How can we do that? Using Spring Batch, the answer is very simple. This is where we can introduce a new concept called by skip policy. Using skip policy, we can have a very nice way to implement the fault tolerance, which allows us to manage, okay, or to do something uh, when we hit that exception, okay? So let's go to the code and let's implement the skip policy in order to understand. So in that order, I'm just going to create here a new folder. Let's just call it by fault tolerance. And here, let's uh, create our class and we are going to call it by maybe custom skip policy. Now that we have our class, the first thing that we have to use or to do is the implementation, okay? We have to implement the skip policy interface. So let's implement the method, okay? Skip policy interface, uh, it uh, has a single method called should skip, which receive a skip count or uh, like spring spring batch gonna send us the number of times that we are skipping some exception. So uh, let's start uh, creating here. The first thing that we are going to do is for example, uh, we want to skip uh, if a file was not found or something like that, okay? Let's just, for example, here, uh, let me just rename here, put in here by exception like this and because it's uh, easier to, to, to read. And let's say like, for example, if exception uh, is instance of, uh, for example, file not found, we don't want to skip because uh, uh, we, we, we cannot skip when a file uh, was not found. So we are just going to return false, or just, just to be better, let's just boolean that false, okay? So else if, for example, let's say that we want to uh, once again, let's go here back to our step. Let's say that we want to skip this exception, which is uh, the one that we are working with. So we, we, we go here back to our uh, custom skip policy. And let's, for example, say um, 
example, uh, like if uh, LC um, exception, okay, instance of, uh, let's say, um, flag file parse exception, and now um, the ability, okay, to use the same skip limit, let's just create here in our class here, okay, skip uh, a property called uh, by uh, skip uh, limit, for example, private, let's just put it long, uh, skip limit, okay, let's put once again is equal uh, uh, 10, um, let's just here, let's say a long, okay, and let's just put it like a, an integer, okay, just to be easier. So, and let's say like, for example, oops, here, one more. So what we are going to do here is say, okay, if exception, instance of a flat file, a flat file parse exception, and, okay, and uh, the skip count, okay, the skip count, just for example here, skip count is less uh, or um, equals uh, skip limit, okay, skip um, limit. So we are going to skip here, we are going to return maybe, um, not maybe, but we are going to return the true. So um, here now we can do our like business logic. If exception, is uh, a type of uh, 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 flat uh, file parse exception. So we can do something with that. So let's just cast, for example, the, um, the exception to flat file parse exception. Let's call it by uh, flat file parse exception is equal exception. It's gonna complain, so we can just cast it, okay? Okay, doing that, now we can uh, like work with exception, with the, the line caused, okay, the exception. So for example, as we just cast uh, exception to be a type of uh, flat file parse exception, now we can just get, for example, um, I don't know, oops, not exception, but uh, the flat, uh, the file, uh, yeah file parse exception. Now we can, for example, uh, get the input, okay? Example, we can get the input. We can also uh, do whatever we want. For example, flat file exception that get uh, the line number, okay? Line number. We can just, for example, log. I'm using uh, Lombok, that's why I'm using here um, the cell for J and I'm going to um, say that this is a component because we are going to inject it uh, later but here as you can see we can just log example the line so let's say here for example uh, the line with error is and then okay we can just use here um, the input, okay, the input, okay, and we can do uh, the same thing here for the line number, okay, the line number here, the line number with error is, uh, let's say, line number, okay, and, and it's not um, the only exception that we are uh, getting okay we still having this one for example we can also catch it here um let's go back here and okay you you can do this is a challenge for you you can do it later by yourself but in my case i can just put it here else if once again for example um let's just copy this line okay and let's say if exception is type of legal argument exception and we want to also uh, for example um, we want
want also to, to, to skip. As we can see here, the, the method uh, should skip, return as uh, a boolean. So maybe uh, this one here, we can just put in a method here, let's say, um, log error okay let's just do this like this like that in order to okay uh, okay uh, in this case it's using uh, the flat file already and in our case so let's just okay uh, let's just keep it simple okay just like that and for this guy here also, let's just, um, okay, let's just, for now, log error, okay, or warn, okay, it should be like, because we want to, uh, an error occurred, okay, just like this. Um, this is a very easy way, okay, the simplest way just to, to show you guys that we can still do something here. So in, in this case, we, we could just write this exception, okay, or do something with this, this information that we are getting here. But before, let's go back to our job here. Now we have to remove all the stuff that we have just done here because we uh, have our skip uh, custom skip policy okay in this case we are going to use skip policy now we are going to inject our custom skip policy here and as you can see i'm injecting uh, via constructor okay because i'm using lombok this is a very nice way also to inject and um, here we are just going to use our custom uh, skip policy okay now once again let's go to our um, file which contains the bad record okay let's set it with the best uh, extension the correct extension which is csv and before that let's just put here once again it's a warn warning okay so yeah yeah sure it should be final okay and now let's run our application and let's see how it's going to work all right so our uh, application just um, have just uh, finished. So now let's see here, as we can see, we got an error occurred, okay? And let's check once again, okay? And we still have it, okay? Some warnings here, as we can see. Yeah, the line number, with uh, error is 23. The line uh, with error is this one. Okay. So using this, this approach is uh, this approach is uh, the best way to deal with uh, exceptions in Spring Batch. Uh, actually, not, not not the best way, but um, uh, we can do uh, more uh, stuff. Okay, here. Uh, instead of uh, the, the, the like comparing with the previous uh, example that I have just showed to you guys, okay? So example here is I told you that we could just here, for example, um, write into a file, okay? We could also like uh, send into, for example, Kafka topic, okay? Or, or any... Um, message broker okay so we could we, we, we can do a lot of things like uh, different things here uh, while dealing with our exception so remember guys we have 
uh, different approaches. Uh, each approach has its own uh, uh, like advantage, okay? Um, so, this is the best way for me like to deal with exception. The next video maybe we are going to go a little bit uh, um, uh, uh, like farther uh, using, for example, Kafka or sending email, I don't know, uh, you guys can tell me. So thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, so thank you guys.